Okay, so as we start the program, the first thing we need to do are make some uh, variables. And the first one we're going to make is our array. We're going to call that my list, and we're going to dimensionalize that as an integer. The next one we're going to do is max index. We're going to make that an integer. And we'll talk about what all these variables do in just a few moments. We also need one called no more swaps. And this one we're going to dimensionalize as a Boolean uh, variable. And that means it can only hold a true or false uh, value. We're also going to have a variable called uh, temp, and that's going to be a temporary, uh, it's going to hold a value temporarily so we don't overwrite anything in the array as we do our uh, bubble sort. And we're going to do one simply named J, and we'll talk about why, uh, why it's called J in just a few moments. Okay, um, I think that's all we need. The first thing we need to do is set our max index uh, to 4. And the reason our max index is set to 4 is because our list array is uh, 4, so the max index is going to be 4. So when we run our program, the first thing we need to do is get a set of numbers uh, from the user. This allows uh, the user to enter any numbers they want. It also allows us to test the program without using a predetermined set of numbers. And instead of going back into the code and changing it over and over and over, we can simply run the program and we can enter whatever numbers uh, we want. And we're going to run this four times because there are four slots in our array. So the first thing we're going to simply type in is enter a number. And then we need to store that into a variable. So we're going to store that into each slot. So my list i equals console.read line. So whatever the user is entering is going to go into uh, my list in the various slots. So the first time the for loop runs, uh, i is going to have a value of 1. So my list 1 will be the first number they enter. Uh, when it runs through the second time, my list 2 will be the second number they enter, and so on. Okay, now that we have that, we can actually uh, start uh, working on our bubble sort. So we're going to do max index equals max index minus 1. And you may be saying, well, why didn't we do that at the beginning? Well, the first thing we need to do is actually set the value to 4. If we don't set the value, it's going to have a uh, value of 0. And if we did max, e max index equals max index minus 1, it would come out to a value of negative 1, and our bubble sort would not work because we're going to need to update max index later on. All right, so we're going to keep going, and then we're going to create a do until loop, and this is what is going to make the whole thing work. So we're going to keep running this code that we type in inside the do until loop until no more swaps equals true. That is what we're going to do. All of the things we're about to type in here will keep running until no more swaps becomes true true because we're going to be swapping numbers based on the value of that integer, whether it's going to be a high number or low number. The higher it is, we want that to come later in the array. The lower the number is, we want that to become earlier in the array. So we're sorting uh, the numbers here, and the b largest numbers are going to bubble all the way to the top, kind of like bubbles in a boiling pot of water. All the bubbles come up to the top. That's how a bubble sort works. It's going to go all the way through every set of numbers in the array, and when it comes to a number that it's not larger, it will stop, and the next slot in the array goes. And uh, it does that until it is done. Now, no more swaps equals true. And you may be saying, well, if we say do until no more swaps equals true, why are we setting it to true? Well, we're going to have a for loop, and inside the for loop, we're going to have an if statement that allow us to keep it false so it keeps running. So we're going to have a for loop, and it's going to be for i equals, and this is different than this uh, for loop up here, um, because it's outside um, the for loop, we can use i once again. So for i equals, and it's going to be uh, 1 to max index, because we want it to run uh, for uh, three times, because we have max index minus 1, we'll talk about uh, why. And then here inside, we're going to create an if statement. So if my list i is greater than my list, and this is going to be i plus 1, then, now, inside this uh, then, or this if then statement, we're going to add some extra lines of code that have nothing to do with the bubble sort, but they will allow us to see what is actually happening inside the program. So when you look at all this code, it may seem a little overwhelming at first, but there's a lot of stuff we're adding so we can actually see how the bubble sort is working. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do console.writeLine 
Now remember, this is for us so we can see what the program is doing. And we're going to do um, my list i is greater than my list and then i plus one because we want to compare it to the next thing and then what we're going to do is we're going to do console.read line that way the program pauses we can actually see what's happening and when we're ready for the program to move on we can hit the enter uh, button so now that we uh, have that what we're going to do is we're going to temporarily store the variable because if my list i is greater than than one in the next slot we need to swap them. And what we need to do before we swap them is not overwrite any values. So that's where the temporary uh, variable comes in to play. So we're gonna do temp equals my list i. That way we can actually store the variable. And when this program runs, we're not gonna be able to see that. So we need to write something so we know it has been stored. So what we're going to do is we're gonna write and get rid of these here because the first thing I need to do is put my variable my list I my ampersand is being held in the temp variable and then that will allow me to see that that is uh, happening so go down a couple more lines just to make my program a little easier to read and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna overwrite the smaller number into the slot the larger number was in. Because remember, we want the larger number to show up later in the array, and that's what we're about to do. And what we're about to write will allow the larger number to move uh, up higher in the array to slots you know, three and four as opposed to uh, zero and one, wherever it may be. So uh, that's uh, very simple to do. We write my list i, and remember we're still in the for loop so we can use i, and we're gonna write my list i plus one and it's very important that uh, you have these in the right order it's my list i equals my list i plus one we're taking whatever stored here and putting it back in the previous uh array list so for example if my list i plus one was three it would be whatever is in slot three will be written into my list two or whatever it uh, may be it's going to run four times but it's, uh, that's what's happening there but we need to let ourselves know that's what's happening so we're going to do console.writeLine, and we're going to let ourselves know what's happened so that way we can see the program actually doing it. So we are moving, let's say we are now moving, and we're going to put my list i plus 1, because that's what's happening here. We're taking my list i plus 1 into my list, and we're going to let ourselves know that into slot. And this seems a little complicated, but it's but it's really it's really not. And when we run the program, it'll make a lot more uh, sense. And then since it is smaller, and then that really will give us a clear picture as to what's going on and what is happening. So now we take the larger number that we stored in the temporary variable, and we store it into the slot that the uh, lower number uh, was in. And that's what we can do now. So we're going to do my list, and we're going to say i plus one going to be equal to the temporary value. So we're taking the temporary value, loading it into my list i plus 1. That way we're actually doing a swap here. That is what is happening. And what I want to do is I want to write some code here that allows me to see what is happening. And you don't have to put these lines of code. It's nice so when you run the program, you can see what's happening uh, step by step. And we need to let ourselves know we didn't overwrite anything because that's the whole point of the temporary variables so you don't overwrite something and now that I think about it I'm not sure if overwrite is one word or two words I'm not really sure so we'll put it as uh, two words it's kind of like when you don't know how to spell something you you know you double guess yourself so we'll just put it it doesn't really uh, matter all right make sure I have that right so far I do and then we're gonna put we stored it in the temp uh, variable. Um, let's see, how do we even say this? We are taking what is in temp and placing it into slots, and then we'll do 
and see here, what would that be, math? That would be i plus 1. Okay, so that will allow me to figure out what's happening there, or when I'm running the program, I can actually uh, see it. Now, what I need to do is I need to make sure that this uh, do until loop is uh, running. So what I need to do is I need to make no more swaps equal to false. And when I make no more swaps equal to false, when it runs back up here, it'll say do until no more swaps equals true. Well, no more swaps equals false. And this for loop is going to run a multiple times before it goes back until the do until loop because we have the for loop inside the do until loop. So now what I'm going to do is console.write line and I'm going to write here is what the current array looks like. And the reason I'm going to do this is so after each number is sorted, I can see what it looks like. This is going to show me step by step how the array is changing every uh, single time. And this is why we have J. I don't want to write it out. I can do a uh, for loop to save some time. And because I'm inside a for loop with I, I just made another letter J. And because Visual Basic doesn't recognize uh, J, I declared it as a variable. So J is going to be 1 to 4. And then I'm going to have um, console dot right line. And I'm going to say slot in quotes, of course, because it's customizable text. Um, let's see here. And J and is make sure I have some spaces here. That way, when I read the text, it's easy to read. Then my list J. All right, so then that will do that. Then I'm going to have my end if statement, make this a little more easier to read. I'm going to have my next. And then what I need to do before I go outside the loop is I need to update the max index. And that's going to be equal to minus 1. That way we don't go beyond the index and we're making sure we're sticking in the right place in the array. Then outside my loop, I can write the final array. So console.write line. I can write final results of the bubble sort. And then what I can do is I can create another uh, for loop and I'll use uh, j. I could use i. I'll just use j. I'm outside the i, but I'll go ahead and use uh, j. Then console.write line. All right, slot. So we're looking at the final slot now. Making sure putting in those right spaces. All right. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and save and we'll run our program. So now that our program is running, we're going to enter four uh, numbers. So we'll do um, 13, uh, 19. Let's do 11, because 11, uh, 13 and 19 should bubble past 11 towards the top. And then we'll do uh, 6. So as we run the program, we see that 19 is greater than 11. And that's going back to this piece of code right here. Let's go ahead and uh, pull it up. So that's looking at this part right here. And that's why we have this is greater than. So we can see what's happening. So 19 is greater than 11. And because 19 is greater than 11, this inside my if statement is going to run. So 19 is being held in the temp variable. We are now moving 11 into slot 2 since it is smaller. We didn't overwrite 19. I'm pretty sure overwrite is uh, one word, but that's okay. We stored it in the temp variable. So we are taking what is in temp and placing it into slot 3. And here's what the current array looks like. So we saw 19 was greater than 11. And uh, it was in slot 2. Now it is in slot uh, three, we see 19 is greater than six, so it needs to bubble past six. So 19 is being held in the temp variable. We are now moving uh, six in the slot three since it is smaller. We didn't overwrite uh, 19. We stored it in temp. We are taking what is in temp and placing it in the slot four. Here's what the current array uh, looks like. So here we see 13 is greater than six, and it keeps running, and when we see the final results, we see that the numbers have changed. All right, we have 6, 11, 13, 19, and that's what was happening last. And the final results is 6, 11, 13, and 19. So we took these numbers, 
we saw what was happening step by step. And when you get to the middle here, it looks a little nervous because you're like 13, 11, 6, 19. What's going on? Well, they're all going to run. And when they all run, they will bubble to the very top. Here we can see 13 is bubbling. And then when we start checking 11, 11 is greater than 6. So 11 will move past 6 and we get the final outcome. So that's all there is to a bubble sort. If you have any questions, post a comment below. We'll see you guys next time.